Hi guys, this is just a quick vlog. Um, I'm just getting from work, so don't have to excuse the mess of me. Um, minus the hair, cause it's a wig. Um, yeah. So there were just a few things that I wanted to talk to you guys about right now, and that was your job, your channel you must subscribe to. And probably a few other things, but you know, I'll get to them when I get to them. Um, first things first, new job. I have a new full time job, um, 9 till 5. I finished at 4 today, so hence the time to vlog. Uh, yeah, it's really good. I'm doing admin for a contracting team. And I can't go into it too much because a lot of what we deal with is confidential, but it's really good fun and the money is good. I like the money, <laughs> which means I get to spend more on cosplay and cons, so you'll be seeing me around there a lot more. I'll be going to May with Zigalicious, Shinigami Apples, and we'll be meeting up with Predator Pete, and maybe Lycan, I don't know if he's going, uh, I assume he is. So that should be really, really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Yay. Um, I'm tired. It's a tiring job, but it is really fun at the same time and I like everyone I work with uh, so it gives me slightly more time to work on my novel as well because I don't have to worry about coursework so that's almost done and I still have about a thousand more words to write and a little bit of editing to do before it's going out to the agents that are interested so wish me luck with that uh, I'll keep you updated on publishing progress and hope you will support me uh, yeah next thing is a new channel. Um, okay, one of my best and closest friends, Predator Pete on DeviantArt, is opening a new channel called The Gamers Loft. I'll put the information in the description box below. Um, he's a great guy and, um, you know, one of my best friends. He means so much to me and I'd really love it if you would support him and subscribe to his channel. It's got nothing on it for now, but when it does, I assure you it's going to be kick-ass. He's a great gamer. Um, he's taught me a lot, helped me through many, many adventures on Resident Evil 5 and such. So check him out. Check out the channel. Again, I'll leave the description, the, the link in the description bar. So check that out. Uh, yeah, I should stop saying, uh, yeah, I'm just, oh, sorry, I'm so tired and spacey. Uh, Okay, what was next? Oh, right, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but I grew up on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I was obsessed as a child, and I'm still pretty obsessed, I'll be honest. But as a child, I was completely obsessed, like, <laughs> I wanted to be half the characters. And, okay, this is old news, and I don't know if you've already heard it, but, sorry, my wig's bunching up. Yeah, so the Buffy reboot. What's with that? I mean, a Buffy reboot without Joss Whedon? Joss Whedon made Buffy. He made the dialogue and the witty characters that we all fell in love with. I mean, Buffy without Whedon's like. Um. Chocolate without cocoa beans. I could probably come up with a better analogy than that, but it'll have to do because I'm too tired. So, I mean. I heard that it'll have, ugh, I can't even think about my thoughts, I heard that it'll have characters in it that aren't related to the characters of the series, which is making me think it's going to be a little bit better, because, you know, at least they're not going to be butchering Willow and Tara and all that. If they were, I'd be writing an angry letter, and I'm sure many other buff fans would be. So, we'll see, but I don't have high hopes for it. Get an original idea, please. That was Whedon's. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll be okay, you know. Who doesn't reinvent ideas? I mean, Joss Whedon did. Anyway. Yeah. I think that was it. I think, uh, the only other thing I wanted to talk about was a Pepsi challenge. That was it. I knew there was something. The Pepsi challenge. Um, it's a challenge where organisations apply 
to win some money and there's a course that I really want people to apply for this year and it's called I Sanctuary. I'll leave the link down below in the side, it's not a sidebar anymore, in the description box underneath the video. Uh, I Sanctuary is a course dedicated to rehabilitating women who've been sold as sex slaves and it's a really serious issue because if you actually look out for it you realise that it's happening not just in India and places where you wouldn't be too shocked but it's literally happening in our in our backyards you know in our country in the USA in UK it's happening young girls are being sold and used as sex slaves and it isn't right um, you know it's it's not fair and it needs to be stopped and I Sanctuary work towards stopping this as well as teaching these young girls to live in the real world after they've been rescued from these horrible situations so you, you don't have to pay any money you don't have to sign up to anything unless you don't have Facebook and then I think you do have to put your email address in but you know what's an email address for a great cause you just sign in and you can vote online once a day and I think you can vote by text as well but if you could just vote online once a day you have no idea the difference you'd be making I think they win $250,000 which could do so much for them because all the money that the girls make from working 100% of it goes back to that girl which leaves no money for the organisation you can watch um, some of their videos on their YouTube channel and go on their website and read some more about it um, Tracy Hines underneath she actually made a vlog about it which inspired me to reach out to everyone and ask for your help too so please go and do that though if you can it would be really really greatly appreciated thanks so much guys I'll talk to you later because I need to go and eat some food before I die of starvation and then I'm going to try and make a singing video and then I can go to bed and sleep because I have work again in the morning so Bye, and please vote, remember.